<laughs> okay, note to self, don't take a big drink of soda just before this, <laughs> the screen change. <clears throat> oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight. Uh, no, not tonight, today. Along with... Face a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 91, where we will be trying out, well, about four games, possibly more, for about half an hour each. To see if they're any good for streaming now or later, and I just I just realized I started the wrong timer. I, mean, I need the 25 minutes timer. <laughs> and hello there in chat, Mark. Are you doing well today? And yeah, this game that we're starting with is called Hard West, and I have absolutely no idea what this game is, other than well, a western, and someone with some very obvious goat horns or devil horns and a very long barreled pistol. That is. Absurdly long. <laughs> yeah, no, they do exist. I just forgot reason for why the barrel was long. <clears throat> I think it was for better accuracy, and they were able to shoot a bit longer. But a bit of a gun, I think the more of a expert used. Okay, I, I do believe a longer barrel on something generally means that it'll go a further distance, but I don't know, like how many feet of distance you can get per inch of barrel. But, uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Um, hard times? Your journey on the Oregon Trail is halted by the harsh realities of the West. You find temporary solace in the gold trade, but bad times are just around the corner. Soon you will be forced to make choices that will shape your destiny forever. Okay. We have got easy, medium, hard, combat injuries, and Iron Man. Okay, is this a Sort of heart, sort of XCOM. And let's see, Marco, I'm having a monster headache right now. Went to sleep at midnight, so that might be the, uh, might be the cause. Uh, don't know when, don't know how night, you know, when you sleep could be related to headaches, but uh, yeah, hope you <laughs> wish you luck with that, Marco. It can, like, if you go to bed with uh, very cool feet. You can get headache when you wake up from uh, as if your body being strained itself from being uh, warm and cold. Mm. Iron Man reminds me of the old school RuneScape. Okay, I played. I didn't play the first one or two version of RuneScape, but I did play like the third version of it or something. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, let's see. Combat injuries. Your characters gain debuffs when damaged badly, but over time they grow stronger for the experience. Okay, give and take. And yeah, when a critical character is killed, you will have to start the scenario from scratch. Let's go with normal for now. And there was even a tab for gameplay mod, so always the nice. The West when... was a hard place. The only thing in abundance was poverty and firearms. Combine alcohol and hopelessness with greed, envy, lust, and pride, and death is often the result. Crude cabins stood alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. People knew to mind their own business, but isolated, they grew ignorant and superstitious. Some said the devil walked the earth, said lost souls haunted and possessed the living, pushing them past the edge of sanity. In this harsh and dangerous country, no one had it easy, including your family. You were six years old when you traveled the Oregon Trail with your mother and father. Food was scarce, and your father, despite being a fine tracker and a crack shot, failed to find any game. It was as if every animal on the trail was spooked by some evil force. Your old man found a small village and tried to trade equipment for food. But this village was overrun by outlaws. They took your mother and decided to trade you and your father to white slavers. But he managed to break free, told you to hide, and set out to save her. Why do the narrators in the games you pick always sound hot? 
Let's see, learning ropes. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes. We promise it's short and useful. <laughs> okay. Hard West is turn-based. You start. In this mission, your father must rescue your mother, who has been kidnapped by evil men. You can only move within the range indicated. Okay, very XCOM, uh, modern XCOM-like. Okay, right-click to move. Two action points. Cover is indicated by shield icons. Always stay in cover. There's half cover and full cover. Full cover beside, pro, 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 besides provides the best protection. If detected an enemy, all characters marked with red shield icons are enemies. It's out of cover, so your shot will be very effective. Let's see. Confirm. Okay. Most actions require action points. Each character starts combat with two APs. Shooting typically uh, uses up all remaining APs. When all of your characters are out of APs, you are, uh, <coughs> the enemy's turn starts. So that will be now. Okay. Luck. Each character has a certain amount of luck. High luck protects from enemy shots, but when they miss, uh, luck is depleted. Okay, this is new. Okay. okay. When enemies are in cover, bypass by flanking. Oh, and it automatically turns around as well. Okay. So we have 60 of 100 luck. Remember to reload often. Yes. Yep. Oh, that, oh, that only reloaded two rounds. Okay. Oh, shadow spotting. Okay. In broad daylight, you can locate enemies by their shadows. You can even shoot them if you have an unobstructed line of fire. Some materials, like cloth or foliage, can be shot through. Okay, that this is also real neat. And yeah, yeah we can see their shadow there. So... Uh, let's see, Marco. This reminds me of a game I used to play, but I can't remember what it was called. Desperados, maybe? Or Desper Was it Desperados or Desperado? I think it was Desperados. Which is basically the Commandos uh, games, but in the Western setting. Nope. Okay, you ran out of luck and are bound to be shot. You, be uh, you must take better cover. Can use objects, yep, to create more effective cover. Okay. I feel like this game was recently recommended to me to watch on YouTube. I I forgot who it was by Yibakaya, Mr. Falcon, or someone else. For I want to know what I think I want to know what it was recommended, but I never watched it. Oh, there, oh, there we go. We can flip it. I thought, for, why can't I move? But no, we can. Yeah, we can open it at least. <laughs> not ow. I was going to say that's not going to provide much cover though. Let's see. The red bar shows your hit points when you uh, when hit. Your luck is partially replenished. Okay, so it's an up and down. You have several abilities at your disposal. Some abilities require luck. Okay, three shots with twenty percent aim penalty. As uh, Okay, that one didn't require luck, I think. That's it for the tutorial. You're on your own now. Okay. Um, let's move over there. Do we spot anyone? No. Also, I like this here. Range modifier. Like th This will show how, how accurate your shots are going to be at range. So, yeah, we can go... We could about accurately shoot up to around here. It's still a good distance. Okay, let's head over there. Nothing seen inside. Okay. She was nowhere to be found. He mm -hmm. saw the box. What was in it? Death? What? The simple wooden box contained a head. Your mother's head. Afterwards, your father found one of the gunmen still alive. The dying man rambled on about some unholy obligation, about promises made by the devil himself. 
and the rewards they would find in hell. What? They got to killing her real quick. Then again, we don't know how long they were st stuck, tied up. But still, what? That, that was a brutal way to... You and your father were alive, but all your supplies were destroyed. No way you'd make it to Oregon now. Your father decided to stay put and build a life right there. Many years passed, and you grew up. You became a man. Okay, uh, Marco. He did say that his father was a crack shit. Yeah, that is... <laughs> He has good aim. So the two of you took over the ruined railroad company buildings and tried your hands at farming. The soil was dry and the land was dangerous. You spent ten, young, long, yeah, ten long years scratching out an existence from dirt. Now you were grown, you figured the two of you could try for Oregon again. It's what mother would have wanted. Gold. Who would have thought they'd find it here? And just when you needed cash for your journey. Time to strike it rich and get out of town before the outlaws and madmen showed up. They always do. Yeah, where there's people, where there's money, there's outlaws. Let's see. The masked man controlled all of the gold mining. His henchmen sold you a license that lets you run nine prospecting operations. Okay. Let's see. Locations have now become available. Neighbor's house, meadow, church. Okay. Mine gold until your license runs out. Um, could we get a bit of a tutorial on this as well? Like we have, let's see, placers, gold tools, deeper gold tools, hard rock gold tools. That, like I know mining is a whole thing. Yeah, gold mining is a whole thing in the Western as well, but I was not expecting it to just pop over like this. Uh, Wait, there's some... Oh, no, this wasn't a glow, this was a line. It's ugly ditch. Everyone said there was a place... You know, there was placer gold down the ditch, but most of it was buried deep under hard rock. Let's see. You rinsed the, the placer gold, costing you 15. Okay. And uh, for some reason, Steam won't let me go into Do Not Disturb modes. Must be some sort of update going on or something. Uh, let's see. We have 35. Let's see. You collected placer gold deposits by rinsing gravel and sand in a flat metal pen. Everyone said there was... Uh, yeah. Okay, we got gold from that. Okay. Let's try going for a deeper gold then. You collected the deeper gold deposits, rinsing the rocks you excavated with a shovel. Okay, we got our money back and some more. Hmm. Okay. What's over here in this meadow then? Let's see. You noticed a young native woman with a basket picking flowers and carefully selecting herbs. Initially startled by your arrival, she uh, then offered you healing herbs for sale. Let's see. Um, let's leave. Anything at the neighbor's place? Let's see. It looked like the neighbor farmhouse was inhabited. You paid them a visit and they turned out to be kind people. You exchanged pleasantries and the customary promises to help one another. More importantly, you met Florence, their beautiful kind-hearted daughter. All you exchanged were a few glances, but you found yourself smitten. Not interested in prospecting themselves, the neighbors tipped you off about a few, uh, about, about, about a couple of promising spots. Okay. From the day you first laid eyes on Florence, she was all you could think about. It wasn't just desire that she inspired in you. It was the way she saw the best in you, the way she made uh, you feel. I just knew something. Yeah. The narrator currently has a name. Yeah death so are we basically are we basically just getting our life narrated back to us or something or well, are we to become the green reaper of the west let's see you collected the hard rock gold deposits by smashing the quartz stone with a pickaxe 
Let's, let's leave. Look for another spot. Mm -hmm. The mine, the mine looked like its hard rock depths were still untouched. There was probably gold down there. Okay. Oh yeah, we got two. <laughs> we got more than enough back from that. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Attack imminent. Even inevitably, gold up in new, yeah, news about the gold spread. Overnight, several nearby homesteads and settlements were raided. Father worried you wouldn't make it on your own. He figured you'd need protection. He disagreed, but went along with his decision for the last time. Okay, ask the crime lord for protection. Okay, we can mine four more times. Let's see, Marco. Uh, <laughs> buying this game right now, never mind. I'd say this would be a main quest, since from what I see it's very long, but it's your choice if you want to play it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit confused and yet still interested. Uh, collapsed mine. You'd heard about this place, a rich mine that collapsed years ago on top of a bunch of miners burying them alive. Their wives and children still decorate the entrance with flowers. Uh, it looks like you could squeeze in, maybe get some of the gold they found. Might not have been the smartest thing to do. Hmm. Okay, this is a decision path, I'm guessing, from the arrows. Let's leave that be for a moment. Let's see. Prospectors led by Alexander Kane have, you know, have been had been collecting gold using rinsing pads. Kane had vast knowledge of placer gold retrieving. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so you can get more, you can get more efficient at finding gold like this. Um. Let's see. Let's just get what we can still. Yeah. Um, and again, we do showcase some days to see but the short games out to see if we find any new games to add to the stream list. Okay, you learned how to create and operate your own rocker box. Okay. It cost us 100, but over the long term that should help us. Let's see, 15, and we got about the same back. Yeah, prospecting cost 15, getting you 25. Income total is 10. Okay. We got... Oh, we only got four, a profit of four there. Let's see. Rinsed. Okay, 28 income. And then we can do the last one here. Since we couldn't afford it before. Let's see. 46 income. Okay. Well, guess we'll have to ask for protection then. The deal. The Mexican said he'd help if you split your gold uh, money with him. He left you a bunch of guns, some empty blessings, and a promise to send the Requero to help out. A, a Requero? I think I might have heard about this game actually before, but I forget who. And let's see, we got a Navy gun and a repeater rifle. And a Homestead and Crossroads have become available. Let's see, what's at the Crossroads then? Let's see, some folks said that just before sunrise there was an electric feeling out on the packed earth of the crossroads. The kind that makes your hair stand on end and sends shivers down your spine. Some swore they'd met a man there, well dressed and well spoken, who offered them a tempting deal. He could, he could make you powerful in return for a piece of yourself. Okay, and it's not. The man smiled, tipped his hat then turned on his heel and left the crossroads. After a few steps, he had disappeared, though the night was crisp and clear. Okay. Uh, let's head to the homestead. Family homestead. The bandits were coming. It was the hour of reckoning. Took up defensive positions. Okay, let's see. We have father, reasonable and law-abiding man, the best role model a kid could have. He never lost hope, no matter what the hard, unforgiving West dished out. Okay. No, yeah, by the yet he asked a crime lord for protection. Yeah, sometimes you have to row with uh, the things you have. Uh, what was Row with the... What was it? Paddles? Would you... Something like that. Let's see. Uh, what's with this card screen? Let's see. Ability Disguise, you are ignored by enemies in the setup stage, plus two movements. 
and Ricochet. Active requires 20 lock bounce bullets off of one or more ricochet objects, plus 5 aim. Okay. Let's see, aim of 65, 50, and we have cheek. Okay. Uh, let's give you this card then. And you are strong, so having you be able to be disguised and sneak up on them at the start would be useful. And let's see. Six shooter, short range, four damage, six ammo, five, that five. Bad person? Yeah, it's the Vecuero. They're the henchman or assistant from the crime lord, I'm guessing. Ah, all right. So he comes with a shotgun and a western rival. Wait, did they call it Sword of Cobra? Yeah. High damage scatter gun, powerful and easily concealed. Cone shots, aim minus five. <laughs> they actually have a cobra on it. Yeah, yeah they're <laughs> just a little ornamental on it. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the navy gun on you. And let's see, essential. This person has a larger role to play in the unfolding events. Make sure they don't die. And same for Warren as well. Okay. Uh, proceed to combat then. Definitely curious about everything. You were well armed and prepared to defend your home from the Batman. Yeah. If he dies, it costs us 200. Let's see. Enemies have been alerted. Father and Warren must survive. Um, okay, we don't get set up or something. A again, uh, it would have been nice to have more than just a combat tutorial. Let's see. You... Do we even know where they are? Hmm. So why was that bucket highlighted? Uh, oh, this, oh it, it's... I thought this was Cheek. Yeah, did you know he's over here? Cheech? However you say that. And Warren is the kid yeah, here. And he can shoot the bucket to ricochet off of. Okay. Um, okay, we have no option to wait for them to show up, I'm guessing. Or to re prepare... <coughs> to prepare... Uh, to shoot if they appear. Overwatch. Have I ever heard a main character use the name Warren? Like, I haven't heard Warren as a name before in games and movies. Just not for the main character, though. There's our leader. Oh, and someone out of sight. There. And another. Yep. Okay, always nice that you can uh, identify people by their footsteps. Uh, let's see. Fanning. Um, how do we select the target here? There. Okay, we just click to swap. 50% chance to hit. But if we do that, we... If two of those shots land, that guy is dead instantly. Hmm... Okay, we can swap it out. Okay, they are also shown here. This one... Let's see. 100% chance, but it only deals one. I think it might be easier to just take out smaller targets at the moment. There. Nope, fastest gun in the west. Okay. Uh, Warren, you relocate to here. You can flank on these guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, and yeah, more good in Warren. Warren is the kid. Okay. Our targets <laughs> also have luck, it seems. Let's see you. We have a line of sight on this one. And that one. Okay, that's two gone. Uh, 
ahead. Hancho sneaking in closer and he's taking his shots. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was a real stupid miss. Ooh. That, that's just... Okay, how did you miss with a shotgun like that? It's like these walls are not paper thin, but thin enough to. Like, <laughs> it actually depends a bit on the shotgun, I guess. Yeah, um... and wood. Like, some wood are much stronger than other wood. Like Ooh. oak. Oak. Okay. <laughs> so we have a 50% chance to ricochet a shot off of this, off of that, and in the back of his head. Uh, would it not just need, be easier to just shoot him straight on? Uh, will this... Uh, will this Wait. actually work for... Uh, Hold on. It went out. I thought it was higher earlier. Okay, just, just shoot the bastards. Really? Okay. Take out the smaller guy. How did you break that window? Like, are you what? already running your protection rackets here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's take out the one with the shotgun. He got a stupid miss earlier, but he won't hit miss a second one. Okay, he's running. Okay. Um. Let's see, no good spots to take a shot at. We've got a line of sight on him. Okay. And he's actually got a better chance of hitting this one than the other. Okay, long sh uh, shotgun. 27, 24. Yeah, let, let's go with the long shot. What? Oh! There's a window near him. Yeah, and he and shot through one window and then through a <laughs> he shot through three <laughs> windows and he still got a, a, at least a glancing hit. Oh, that's that actually makes sense, but also means that guy really did a bad move. <laughs> Thinking, oh, I'll be safe here without realizing he's in clear shot of someone else. Let's see. If, oh. if we move out, we are going to get flanked by this guy and that one, so that's not a good idea. Uh, yeah. Let's move here. I'm gonna go grab my ice cream. And we have no shots. Okay. Let's move I there instead. And, and yeah, the timer is going, but let's finish up this fight first. Uh, let's see. If, can we fan you down? Let's take... This would have been better before if he, when he was still in the, out in the open, but oh well. Okay, it was a gamble. What was that whistle sound after? Okay, a lot of misses so far, but they are going to get us sooner or later. For now... Uh, does that count? Yeah, that counts as cover. We could ru probably run up and just blast him with the shotgun. Um, Big a raffle for the spitting cobra. Instead, let's stick to some cover. Go with the long rifle. And there. Okay. Yeah. Cover. Cover protects them somewhat from damage. Now, father. Actually, let's start with Warren here, since this dumbass is out in the open. Um, yeah, go there. Taking a risk. Okay, not even taking the time to aim. Um. Get right up to his face. Wait, they can. Okay, so you—they are—they do 
can't people can get uh, overwatch shots then uh, insufficient action points oh okay this was a bit less of a good idea than I thought then oh dear uh, out of ammo uh, yeah this was a mistake yeah uh, luckily this is a showcase and not the uh, full play through yeah should have planned that through more okay he needs to reload good for us nope ow okay reload yes and let's yeah it does take two it takes two action points to do that so we just have to shoot there we go now you shoot him as well and the last one 49 percent 50 50 ish okay i think i've seen total biscuit showcase this game maybe how old is this game reasonably old all right for again may he rest in peace yeah okay um can we can we shoot him through a door and a window yes we can but can we actually land the hit nope okay well then oh oh wait oh ooh, ow okay so that that's red circle is when they will shoot you okay take him out before you bleed out okay yeah could have used more of a tutorial, but I'm definitely intrigued. Yeah, same. Uh, oh, Marco, uh, chocolate uh, beets, vanilla, some nuts. Okay. Mostly vanilla. Uh, let's see. Though you survived the attack, father was worried. He said uh, you should build an underground escape tunnel in case of another attack. They also wanted you to call the shots. Uh, might always good to have a backup. His father said he'd take care of the materials and constructions. Meanwhile, the bandits were attacking elsewhere. He ran to make sure Florence was safe. Okay, let's just skip the rest. Oh, you again. Oh, I think I can see where that is going. But I'm definitely interested. Okay. Did not expect it to change like this. Yeah, I think there's something supernatural going on. Yeah. Definite. I'll need to look into this a bit more with how long it could take, but I'm definitely yeah, leaning uh, towards a yes. Yeah, for it. There, there aren't too many westerns where they have heavy leaves. Super, like you maybe have some that have a light supernatural too now and then in a yeah. series. Of, but the, a game like this that seems to make hint of there might be a lot of supernatural going on. I'm up for it. Anyways, uh, let's see. Marco, the thing I would like is every time your characters lost luck, that they say something like, Lady Luck must be on my side. <laughs> Dude is a gunslinger. How did he miss? He was standing in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was there flickering on the screen? On the stream there? Because it was on my end. Yeah. No. Big warnings for this. Uh, also, this is putting up 100% of the GPU, apparently. Oh dear, uh, I think I know what the flicker might be. Uh, the, sometimes uh, it seems to be flickering if it sees the icon on the weird search bar down in the core or by the other side where it says uh, temperature and other things. It may sometimes flicker on the screen. Let's see. AKA Microsoft uh, bullshit. Okay, still some delay. Yeah, it's still taking up 100%. It, uh, I think this is another case where it's just taking ray tracing. Let's turn that off. Yes, confirm. It, okay, now it's just a lot of flickering across my screen for some reason. And it still won't take... I think it's another game that just takes up as much processing power as possible. But yeah, this yeah. game is uh, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. 
Of which I've heard quite a good things. And v -Sync is on, apparently? Yeah, let's turn that off. I'd... Okay, that also turned off the flickering on my end. And lowered the usage a little bit. Uh... Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's, it's now it's flickering between 90 and 99. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't sound good. It's, yeah, it could just also be a game... You know, could it could also be a case that just the basic uh, graphics of this game are very high. But uh, yeah, this is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Like I said, I heard good about this game. And it has a VR version as well, actually. And yeah, I'm, I'm interested in it. But I have not been willing to touch it on my own. So let's give it a shot and start the timer for now. But yeah, again, big psycho. Okay, now it's dropped a. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Right. Hold on a second. Okay, at least it lets us pause during this. Subtitles on, please. Okay, why? Why does it take up everything in the menu? Why? Uh, um. Let's put these. To hide then again and see how that goes. It doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now. Okay, definitely headsets. Uh, with a headset on, this is very freaky with just whispering into one ear kind of stuff. I never told oh. you the others. We hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, no. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. But they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Okay. Yeah. Why isn't she looking? Why aren't you looking? She's an ally. Look. Up ahead. Do you see it too? You promised you'd get it. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. Really feel like leaning away, even though I know it won't do anything. It's not safe. Go back, go back, go back, go back. It's not safe. Is that You didn't know this was a horror game, right? I actually kept my distance enough to just avoid as much as possible, but I did know that uh, it was not to be a pleasant game. Look around and you'll see them. The drowned, the sick, the slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here. And I mean, bleeding away from the whispering in the ear since I'm using a headset and all that. Holy! What? Yeah, we're filming we we frame rates on this. Oh, you have 50, 54. Stop. 
Even if the moon said 40, even. They're watching her. Yeah, let's drop this back down again. Probably because there was just a lot, not a lot on screen at the moment that it was so low all of a sudden. Let's see. Okay, 80, 70, 72, much better. It doesn't look too much different, so it's probably just detail work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be uh, representing uh, what is she schizophrenia. I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger. Towering over her. He might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Mm. Didn't I... Probably should have expected Norse influence. But let's see, Marco. I've never heard of this game in my life. The whispering is making me sleepy. You okay, we found it. We journey. found this ASMR. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear. Runs far. Far deep. Yeah, definitely a game hard recommended to play with a headset of some sorts. Yeah. Yeah, I had tried to watch it before, but I kind of gave up on it. No, I think I heard the YouTubers who tried it, they also had the same issue you had with frame rates dropping, like, again? The No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Fenua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Okay, the, the narrator is another, yet another of the voices in her head, and well, we're hitching a ride along. Hmm. Look really clearly. Focus, Emma. Focus. Focus, and you'll see. What happens if you focus? Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea, and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. A dark real fast. Uh... Yeah, well, 
Not sure if we want to run towards that. Not this time. Okay. Can you see it? The land of mist and fog. Is it there? The old fool was right. Is it there? What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. Place they call Helheim. Where are you? There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. Okay, from one game with a severed head right at the start to another. I kind of don't want to talk because it would disrupt, well, everything. Yeah. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. F. Okay, I was going over what to actually get on this thing. Typically, F has been replaced for as a use key with E, so I was pressing that. Life and the next. I will 
tell you my stories of hell, if I may walk with you. Can't tell if that is animated or oh, superimposed <laughs> live action. I, I think that is superimposed for. No way you can get that face animation look so smooth when that was made. When this game was made. What's hidden in plain sight. I can see it. Especially when he actually looks better animated than the main character. Let's see. Like, I be pretty clever. She, her model also looks good. But it still has the little... I'm sure you call it a... Face yank in the face expression. Let's see, do we need to find a matching symbol or something? We have the shape of it now that we carry around, but the moment we walk away, it vanishes. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wait, there's something green there. Is that the reflection? Hmm. I, I in, in part I like the minimalist uh, part that it doesn't it doesn't try to break you out of the experience. Oh. Uh, Look towards the gate. Oh, the, gate. the shadows. Okay, it, it it lets you figure things out on yourself. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. But can I, that can also be a bit annoying, like it with the stairs. It is fully presuming that you know the controls already. I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen learned their ways. I know you did. You listen. When everyone else laughed, my people paid a heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Not so sure she'd want to do that. Also, I'm not sure this would be a good move. Yeah, Since, that's depending on the uh, flow. Another voice joins us. This was sleeping wood. Make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. Yes, sitting was stuck with a narrator voice act, a narrating voice in her head. And let's see, Marco Drust woke me up. He ASMR made nap. <laughs> okay. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay, but you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little. Shut up, all of you. Let's see. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Sacrificed? Wait. Okay. Fight begins. Um...
Hello. Uh, okay. I did not actually expect combat, even though that she did have a sword. Ow. Okay, light attacks, heavy attacks. And a dodge. Do we have a... Yes, we have a block with control. Yeah, uh, okay. And another. Hmm? Go ahead. Yes, uh, hey, Alright, fish animation in the cutscene. Oh. A little bit, a bit back and forth. Like whenever she does shoot her teeth, is I feel like it gets very awkward or something. I, yeah, it's supposed to be awkward. It's supposed to be unnerving. Another one. Okay, we can also parry. Is there? Uh, is there anything here on? Uh, Okay, nice that they have put stuff like that in there. Uh, anything on tutorials here? You'd think those would be on by default. Uh, uh, another one. Ow. Uh, uh, ow. Um... Not meant to win that. Staring us dead in the eyes again. Ooh. Uh, oh wait, of course, only the dead can pass. So... Yep. A vision... of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Okay. Grow each time you fail. Okay, so we we have a not a time limit, but a fail limit. And then uh, we'll have to restart from the very start of the game, I'm presuming. Yeah, this might be a prevention on streaming this. Depending on how this is done. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Weren't her eyes blue before? Or was it the lighting? 
he might be as well. And so, I don't think she is not a Viking herself or Northman, nor is Drew or Dillian, I think. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it the god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Okay. Valram? I've not heard of that one, actually. Hmm. I don't think Surter is supposed to be a god of fire either, so they, they are taking some liberties. I'm... Uh, he is the king of the fire giant, so... Close enough. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely interesting. Yeah, dude, there is some concern since hmm. we we have we struggle to comment to co commentate on it even harder than Bastion. Oops, spoilers, so out. And the other thing is, it took a lot on on your PC. Yeah, even at the low settings. Hmm. This can mean it could become a issue quite fast. For again, one of the YouTubers I feel to use about tried what John before just giving up for some reason. I think I just lost interest in it fast. Most many of them said, well, more more the line that they, it took so much on the GPU and CPU, yeah, even and on I most have, things. What I ha and what I have is a thirty seventy. So I think I think it's another case that it just eats up as much of your processor as it can to try and make things run better. But because of that, it just doesn't. Just, yeah. I should really look for some way to ch to shut that off permanently or something. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to put it as a maybe for, yeah. for now at least. Big maybe says it did say hint of a fail limit. But the question is, how many times are we allowed to fail, and how does the save system work? Yeah. For I think you can see it there, where the problems would arise through for someone or us like us that would stream it. Yeah, like if we would need to start it over from the very start, or if it would put us back at that point, we would have I, to I, see. Yeah, hmm. for. B again, big me B. Okay. Also in chat, uh, Marco, my brother said I should be a third commentator to you for you guys. Uh, gotta go feed the farm animals. Be right back. Okay, see you in a bit then. Right. Oh, in the meantime, hey, something about Hard West, thirty hours long. Okay. According okay, to how cool. long to beat, I presume. Yeah. It, okay, that's it, doable. I mean, but, but, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, either way, though, moving on to the next game, which is called Hero Siege. And, yeah, always nice when it's just animated. <laughs> when you've got animated uh, main menus like this. Why was I having such issues with that? Anyways, let's take a look here, just to be sure. Anything about subtitles or anything here? Audio? Voice acting is on. Uh, wait, what? Hmm? Uh, what? Look at the audio again. Audio. Uh, Master. Uh, of a satanic volume? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and what new subtitles? What? Maybe they're already basic in or something? It did better be. Uh, oh, that's a lot of safe points. Okay. Okay, that explains why. Uh, let's see. Viking, Pyromance, ex exclusive, exclusive, White Mage, S Samurai, what? Oh, it's... I saw it wrong. The name of the class is above the head. So we have red access to the Viking, Pyromancer, Marksman, Pirate, Nomad, Redneck, and Necromancer. And beyond that we have classes Samurai, Paladin, Amazon, Demon Slayer, Demon Spawn, Shaman, but we also, we also have access to the White Mage. The right path. Okay, also Marauder, Plague Doctor, Shield Lancer, and Illusionist. And 
Goten, okay. Just off to the side. I think I know which one you would suggest. Ah, I was getting bored of these lads. Yeah, let's, let's go pirates. <laughs> let's see. Which can unlock pirate has 5% increased chance to find better loot. A hungry wolf is bound to wage a hard battle, and I'm starving. The greatest euphoria comes from beer or fire. How dead you want them? Cause I can make them pretty dead. Ah, I was getting bored of these lads. Okay. Quality on this one sounds a bit, a little bit lower, but okay. Uh, let's go with uh, the, the typical one I pick when I'm making, making female characters. Wait, uh, there's a female? Ah, I was getting bored of these lads. Yeah, they, they sound, oh. they sound a bit. Sorry, guy. Uh, ah, I was getting bored of these lads. Sounds like an Irishman almost. Ah, I nope. was getting bored of these lads. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Uh, let's see, we have... I'm guessing this is... There are two skill trees or classes that they can... Or subclass into. Gunner and Plunderer. Okay. Uh, let's create. And... The character skins. And just play. Okay, a lot of the micro stuff. But I think this game is really cheap. Or even free. You know. Let's see. Hand cannon. You can attack okay, with mouse or arrow keys. Okay, it might be a girl after all. Just, just something with her audio there was a bit off. Yeah, it it sounds a bit lower quality compared to the others before. Yeah, low for enough to make it hard to identify. It's. Box. Yeah, this game is very Diablo-like. Like the the crossed-out O's weren't enough of a hint on that. Let's see, Let's smash these as well. Okay, so, what is that box? So, what is this? Okay, we can move it around. Whatever that is. What? T C. Oh, that's our. Uh, <laughs> that's info stuff. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Set your abilities by pressing T. Okay. We have gunner. Oh wait. We uh, reset. Uh, let's see. A lot of stats. We have. Let's see. You have a chance to spawn an explosive barrel between you and the closest enemy. Gunner unleashes a shot with multiple bullets. Buck shots. Uh, freezing chain shots. Plunderer has a chance to launch a pair of frozen lead balls at the target. Damaging, slowing and pulling enemies together. And Torrent. Unleash a giant ball of water that knocks nearby enemies in the air by the water torch. Okay, let's take one of that. And... Okay, that automatically gets put into there. Okay. And that's Holy. our cooldown. Does that use up anything? Yes, it used up a bit of our experience, of, of our mana. Uh, copper scum. And then with C, we can look at our equipment. Let's see, we have a Yordle amulet. Did I press start? No, I did not. I'll do that now. Okay, yeah, very Diablo-like. Just nothing on story yet, just Get the killing. It's wanted. Captain Bone Sword, dead or dead er. <laughs> Landlord Kunonen, <laughs> Mayor of Inoya. Okay. Slime. Inventory progressing C. Already figured that out. Okay. So the enemies drop health drops and also mana drops. We can jump. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can actually jump. Okay. Not something you typically can do in these sorts of games. Yeah, for some reason. 
Or, or when you can captain. jump, it's usually a attack jump, but you're not meant to jump over obstacles, really. Yeah. Okay, so Reeves. Those up. Let me get other equipped. Okay, those shots won't actually destroy environmental stuff. Okay. Yeah, this could probably be fun with a bunch of friends. And Marco's back. Okay, welcome back. We finished up uh, the showcase of Senua. And now we're on to... Uh, on to Hero Seeds, which well, is a very obvious Diablo-like. Yeah, I think it might be more focused on s multiplayer or something. Yeah. And again, this is tutorial. Yes. Okay, that does not stop the game. Some games will do that, aren't you? Uh, let's see. Let's take that one. And we'll see what happens with that. Right as we finish. <laughs> Hero Siege. It, I don't remember how I got this game. It, but I get the feeling it is either cheap or free. Got ourselves a shield. Unusual combo, pistol and shield, but it works. Uh, let's take a look over you. You've, you've got a shield and pistol. I like yes. that, but not many games allow you to have a pistol and a shield. It's... And you got a helmet. It automatically so points out if something has more attack or not. It's nice. Let's see. Five damage, one attack per second. Okay, let's stick with the hand cannon. Yeah, hero siege with a space bar, uh, with a space between the worlds. Uh, words, Marco. Let's... Land ahoy! Already on land. Let's see. Dr. Tinkerdink. Hey, uh, come back later and I'll show you my latest invention. Okay. Yep. The landlord. Let's see. Return quest. And we just get a golden sword. Okay. <laughs> Plus four. Just a regular sword. Just made out of gold. Okay. Uh, let's see. Take a look around. Get acquainted with the town folk. Okay, we've got a stash here. Tornstein Neil. Hey there, I can buy access items off of you or help you with crafting new gear. Okay. Garnor. Magicians, engineers, bra. What you need is a huge weapon and strong arms. Test your might against these trading dummies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh. Is that... Okay, I, <laughs> I think I know what happened there. It spawned some. Ex it spawned an explosive barrel right between us, <laughs> or something. Oh dear. Let's see. Kristen Lee Johnson. Uh, apparently, not much to talk. Uh, uh, let's see, Marco. Okay, uh, here what? I think it's free since I saw it on Google Play Store. Okay. Magister Kujala, I'm here to help our heroes. Come back to, you know, to me when you've grown stronger and I can help you with some gear. Okay, enchanting maybe? The sarcaster, <laughs> really? Uh, a sarcastic ca spell caster. Uh, Sarcastus coffee beans. Retrieve Sarcastus coffee beans from Act 1, Zone 1 waypoint. Could you retrieve my coffee beans, please? I've lost them somewhere in the outskirts of Inoya. I really need to make coffee. <laughs> okay. For what? For once, you actually let out your own her naturally from the that. Let's see. Um. Naked eye can't see everything. Sadly, I've seen too much. Are you ready to see our future? Okay. Uh, tinker dink again. Magic. <laughs> I create magic with science. Just come back later and I'll, you'll see. Okay, he's totally not going to end up nuking the town. And then we have... 
a, a dwarven miner. Jorvan beer beer drinker. <laughs> okay. Oi, get back to me when you've gotten familiar with the town and I'll show you how to mine like a dwarf. Wait, Jorvan beer drinker. Yo is this a reference to your cast? Likely. Another ball to play a with. A another game with a beach ball? What? Uh, where is the miner? Oh, oh, okay, we already... Oh, wait, that was him. I, I thought we were, it was another miner. <laughs> what town needs two miners? Or what fantasy town needs? Okay. Level turn, uh, level three. Most towns would most likely have multiple miners. True. But it typically in typically in games you know, where Diablo likes like this, you only find one of them. Let's see. Mysterious wildlife. Mostly. Like body parts in Act 1. This used to be a peaceful forest, but something is corrupting it. Bring me some body parts for research. Yeah. I think the reason you used to find wine miner in games like this is because they're the only survivor. Yeah. And according to Marco, it costs eight dollars or eight bucks, whatever, uh, or eight euros in this case. Okay. Hmm. Just a, a cheap little uh, multiplayer Diablo like. Nothing too wrong with that. Uh, let's see. Let's take that just to see how it is. And. Uh, how do we assign you? It says there, there was a button called Assign Point. Uh, that's assign to put a point, a skill point into it. Oh. Uh, requires level one. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's passive. Oh, right. Oh, a chance to learn. Okay. I'm being dumb. I'm hungry for some grub. Why did we have to kill the cook? <laughs> okay. I I think the voice actress who made the voice of this Oops. did not have a good record set thing. Yeah, but it, in a way, it's a bit charming. Like this this game is looking to me like a yeah. It, it's a, it's a cheap. Oh, that's a boss. It's a, a bit of. It's a cheap, a Gatling gun. It's a cheap Diablo uh, copy, but it's. I think it's running with that, just while still making it a, a decent game. Yeah. Uh, Gatling gun one nine damage and a lot higher. One handed. But it requires one. It requires level four. Okay, definitely equipping that later. Well, you, For now. Wait, how far? Oh, you're not. You're yeah, looking you're too far. To okay, what was with that multi shot there? Like. Is there some passive going on that I don't know already? It, 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 hello. Dose. Dose. Nope. Purple health bar. Probably bad news. Oh, I think those are not champions, but elites. Probably, yeah. Okay. I, I, again, I call this game cheap, but it's not. It's not bad. Certainly serviceable so far. And let's see, did we get something else there? We've been automatically equipping stuff. That's there. Uh, Better than your boots. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. Uh, yep, there. Okay, okay yeah. The, the game doesn't pause, I should remember that. You, a war bow, mana necklace. Okay. Uh, 
uh, let me move that up there. It's for multiplayer, I presume. Always nice when the game lets you do stuff like this. Oh, oh, oh it's a DPS up. counter. It's a DPS counter. Okay. Crystals. Chain gloves, chip skull. Okay, little mini game. Mining 125. Okay. Hmm. Almost leveled up. Just a bit more. Just... Are we? Do we actually have a chance of getting anything up? Okay. We can get some gold out of them. Oh, no XP from killing per. That's okay, not that's... correct, Terminology. You don't. And level up. Selling crystals? Ancient. Yeah, I, I'm guessing crystals are a semi. Yeah. Uh, just a different kind of currency. I almost said semi premium. Ooh. That's an angry rat. Angry electric rat. Ooh. Key. Let's Ooh. see if we can get this chance to. Equip the new gun! Yeah. Uh, I think you may need it. Uh, picked up a few more. I think you took the wrong gun. I think we took to use the Gatling gun. Oh, and dead. Okay. I mean, he was close to death as well, but. Right, did we get the chemo items? Uh, right. looks like it for the most. Foul charm, and level five. Armor, plus one, two armor. Amulets with sockets. Two energy. Uh, yeah, that's also a, very, that's also a very so Diablo thing, of course. Yeah, but they never let them you have that many sockets on them. Let's see. Equip that. There we go. Flask of sand, what? Okay. Um, mon monarch shield, okay. 20% block chance, 17% so block chance, but it has sockets, which can make it better. Okay. Uh, boots level 4. Oh, yeah, we're taking that. Bit annoying. Okay, bit. Second bit annoying that we have to double press it before it actually does it, but also that it doesn't show the stats. But it does give these as an indicator if something is better or not. But I would have liked if. Uh... Okay, these are key items, I'm guessing. Yeah, very Diablo 3 influenced. Let's see, better defense. I I'm guessing that the arrows are here for the people who don't want to bother with. Uh... <clears throat> with going over every exact detail in the field. Well, it, it gives you a reason to go, all right, there's a little arrow, so get, and you inspect the stats on that. And you see just red, then you do, no, you're not going to bother checking the stats at them at all. It's... Someone is playing with fireworks again outside. I can hear that. I was wondering who is knocking on your door. I want to realize... Your door is a bit of glass. Yeah. Uh, let's equip that. <laughs> okay. I think you want to see it in the chat. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's an angry rat. Oh shit, it's an angry electric rat. Yeah, feel free to make clips of stuff like that, uh, Marco. Okay. Uh, wait, does that mean you. you that must be catch you? Hmm? Let's get this over with and have a drink. And Pikachu, a electric. Oh, wait, he's an electric mouse. Uh, 
Okay, and yeah, it seems like each time these areas are going to be randomly generated. You thought there was a heavy, hard rain. Yep. What sort of rain do you have there then? Uh, it kind of makes sense since it would mean very heavy raindrops. But the way they hit it would probably be more like heavy hail rain. Yeah. Now, so what are the fine fireworks in summer? I have no clue. It's okay. It also says if something is better when you've picked it up. Let's see. Oh yeah, just like everything there. Look at that. Okay. Would it be ironic if we start playing this just after Diablo 4 released. Trunk Cutter. Uh, hey, what the heck is that? Wait, hasn't it already released? Uh, it, it's out now, I'm pretty sure. Um... Not, I don't, I don't, there's not going to be much of a story with this, I'm pretty sure, since I think it's, this is just meant to, to scratch the Diablo itch. And, oh, coffee beans, thank you. And waypoint, okay. Open waypoint, and with that we can teleport around. Okay. The gold okay. is mine. Can we also teleport back with that? Yes. Let's see. Uh, here's your coffee beans. Let's see, bricks, so many bricks. Collect bricks from boxes. My house collapsed in a storm last week. Could you help me collect some bricks from the field of battle? Or the fields of battle. I'd really appreciate it, okay. Uh, yeah, this is just simple quests and simple gaming. There's nothing too bad, but nothing too great either. Oop. A mystery chest for 900... Oh, no thanks. Okay. And now he has a... Uh, this could be a fun little thing to try with some other people, I think. But mostly just for our, our, our own entertainment. Not for any story or such. Okay. Let's yeah. call it here on this one. Like, fun, probably. But more fun with others. You just screw around in and just get gear. Um, where's the exit button on this, actually? <laughs> like, I see... What? Or do they... Okay, they just expect you to do that, I think. Just close it. <laughs> okay, odd. Anyways, then. On to the fourth game. Called a bit short on that one, but oh well. We got the main deal of it. Now, let's see. Is it going to play nice still? <laughs> yeah, there we go. No sound, though, for some reason, at this. But there we go. Yeah, yeah, for some reason, this game only wants to work windowed in a 4x3 resolutions. Okay, I'm turning my fan up to level 2. Let's see, Marco shooting fireworks on any day except New Year's is illegal. Yeah, same as here. Feeling nervous, my dear? A bit. Mostly I feel silly in this dress. Isabel, we're here to celebrate, not to climb trees in the orchard. Besides, you look radiant. Elrath himself smiles on the Griffin Empire today. We're Cinderella and Arthas. Today. To witness the marriage of our beloved sovereign Nikolai, King of our Holy Empire, to our fair lady Isabel, Jewel of the Greyhound Duchy. Oof. 
Oh great, demons with invisibility. They're high up, <laughs> okay. More demons? Or... Oh yeah, those are the devils. The city is under siege. We must retreat to the Summer Palace. No, I can't leave him. Come, this is war, and you are not a warrior. I wish I was, Godric. Perhaps I should be. Okay, yeah, this is Heroes of Might and Magic 4, not 4, why was I, 5, <laughs> uh, I think, I think this heat is cooking my brain. Yeah, you, you should get an air cooler or AC. Yeah, uh, let's oh, see, dear. Marco, this is a cool game to play with friends, Jesus, uh, who pulls up to a wedding with a sword, like a, a king of a, war, a realm that's likely to go to war with demons at any point, or devils. And it's yeah. normal church in my country. Do they put your churches on the top of mountains or something? Well, actually, it, it, it is normal to put churches on the hills and such. Yeah, but not at the bloody top of the mountains. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, I know very little about Might and Magic. Drakir knows a lot more about it. Like, the most contact I've had with... Uh, this franchise has been well, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, which is one of my favorite games ever. And, uh, 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 Might and Magic, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic is part of this series. Yeah. <clears throat> Same universe. Beyond, beyond that, uh, I think I've only touched a demo of this game specifically, maybe, or four. Never heard of this series. Okay, it's not, it's not too well known. And wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, it's not. Heroes yeah. of Might and Magic is very well known. Yeah, but it it is known. But it's not as known as some of the other bigger things out there, like uh, think your Nintendos and such. Uh, well, it, it, Heroes Three was well known more than them for once, well, for a time at least. Wasn't there a new game released somewhat recently, in like the last ten years or so, six or yeah. something? I have released a few re in recent years, just due to Ubisoft being mismanaging it, with Uplay, it has lost popularity. Okay. Well, uh, as much as entertaining as it is to see these two continue to play patty cakes with swords, let's go to multiplayer user campaign. Okay. So custom made ones. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's keep it on easy. And the Queen. A King Falls, a Queen Rises. Oh, I should Mystery. warn you. Hmm? It has very... Very... Uh, 80s style... Sword and Sorcery-like dialogue. On okay. the sheep side. So, so uh, more cheesy than a storage room full of Gouda? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Let's go make some fondue then. And start the timer. It's also always nice when they let you to choose to continue instead of rushing you through it. The invasion of the demons is grim news for the Griffin Empire. King Nikolai has been forced to postpone his wedding, rush to the front lines to lead his kings into not to not king, lead his knights into battle. <laughs> Waiting expectantly in the safety of the Summer Palace at Whitecliff, Lady Isabel received joy, you know, joyless tidings. Thank you. 
is it going good for the night side? Ow. Is it still the last man standing if it's an angel? Just looking at it, casting spells like it's a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, well, there goes the last ones. Rematch. Yep. <laughs> Cocky looking bastard. Okay. You've been acting a bit oddly, Beatrice. Are you feeling well? Me? Oh, well, it's... I'm... homesick, I suppose. Feeling edgy and bored. It may be boring, ladies, but at least it is far from the war. Not for long. Another messenger arrived this morning. The demons have taken Hardwick and Thornham. Either we go to war, or war comes to us. Any news of Nikolai? He's fine, but, milady, he's young and unsure of himself. He's too embarrassed to ask for help. I know he forbade us to leave. And we shall obey him. Young or not, he is the king. You were ordered here, and I was ordered to protect you. It's quite simple. But the Empire is in peril. <laughs> Shouldn't we do something? Why was Nikolai so opposed to asking the Elves and the Mages for help? Or the Dwarves? The Elves have been slow to recover from the last war. The Mages? Blasphemers led by Cyrus. A man with delusions of godhood. Besides, Nikolai hasn't forgotten that Alaron and Cyrus came back alive from the War of the Eclipse, but his own father did not. Still, if he were here, he might command us differently. Perhaps, if it really is that bad. Two more towns, Godric. How bad must it be? Please, Godric, though you do not like him, take word to Archmage Cyrus. Their magic would be of great help against the demons. There is wisdom in what you say. But that Cyrus and the king's orders... For the Empire, Godric, which is greater than any one king, even one we love so dearly. As you wish, milady. Griffin Eternal! Very Warcraft 3. Shall we Acting. take word to the elves? You should. You have the wisdom to negotiate with Alaron and are practiced in the art of diplomacy. As for me, I've always felt more comfortable in a camp than at court. But we could go together. Me? Go to Arilen? Beatrice, I'm surprised at you. At the Abbey, you were so overprotective. You'll stay here, then? Not at all. I shall raise a militia. That is more suitable to my talents. That's too dangerous. I shall be surrounded by soldiers in the heart of the Griffin Empire. Safer than anywhere else, I think. As my queen commands. Go quickly. You will find me somewhere between here and the battlefield. To war! Ah! To war! There's something with this Beatrice. Yeah. Oh, I should probably mention. Do you remember the demon woman in the Dog Messiah? Yeah. Uh, She's in this name? game. Yeah, I, I, I believe there are references to Dark Messiah in the later games. Oh, it, 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 no, no. She, the character is in this game. Dog Messiah came before this game, actually. Okay. <laughs> He's a hero in the campaign here. Hmm. <laughs> that would be interesting to run into. Probably not in a showcase like this, but <laughs> would be interesting to run into her later on. 
What was her yeah. damn name again? Yeah. Oh god, I'm not sure if that might be her disguised as a nun. Let's see. You were given your first task to read it, press the scenario information button. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no objective. Uh, what, what do you think would they will cut scenes and dialogue so far? Uh, like I said, very Warcraft 3. Which, yeah, well, that, do a bit. Is it one? Uh, that, that game is considered a classic, but uh, <laughs> it is a bit stilted for the time. Yeah, Not for the time, this, for now. Yeah, dude, this game I feel like is a bit way more tilted, a, a little bit more rough on the edges on the cutscene. I am. Oh yeah, I have tried to play the campaign once before, yeah, on the expansions, but bloody heck. Now seeing it here, it, it is rough. Yeah. Uh, some units may express the desire to join your hero's army. To agree, press the join button. If you refuse, they will disappear. Okay, three peasants, creatures with the desire for greater glory want to join. Uh, we'll have to take them. Okay. But yeah, the the combat in uh, this series is a, a bit. Well, it, it was common back in the day, but nowadays it's a bit weird. Yeah. But basically, you start off with a chessboard of sorts, with characters on your side and on their sides, strengths depending on the uh, yeah, their class and how many you have of them, because yeah. units of the same type get stacked on top of each other to make one. Yeah, very one stronger avatar of sorts, you could say. Basically, and... I think you were better when you said Shadow of War. The f you could say the figure represents the group, but yeah. the number under the icon says how many they are. And you will. Actually, let's see if we can win on units. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you should be able to uh, investigate your uh, troops on your hero. There, Isabel, knight. We have an army of three foot soldiers, one knight, and three peasants. Yeah, and those, but those you... will not appear separately. These these will just appear as three pawns on the board, so to speak. Yeah, I think I think you should be able to click one of the icons for more info. Yeah. Oh, actually, you're right. Click on her face. Yeah, it moves away. It moves away too fast. What the heck? Yeah, it might be. In, it might, I'm guessing it's going to be this button here. Uh, rotate or tilt. Move the mouse while pressing the right button. Otherwise, yes. it, you will need to wait for, until you get a castle. Probably. Yeah, this, this is a strategy game. Full on. Uh, end of turn. It's yeah. someone just left a bunch of gold bars on the road. Yeah, right back. Okay. 500 gold that we're just logging around. Let's see, there's more there. Let's go grab. Again, this bar isn't health, it's just how much turn we have left. And look I'm back. Just had to say hello to uh, Mama Rose says they just came back from Sweden Rock. Okay. Let's see. Certain so, objects yeah. will have unique qualities. The rally flag increases the stats of the hero. Okay. So we can just yeah, pick I, that up. I, I, mean, see, I don't feel like this game has aged well in looks. Like, it still looks uh, pretty because of how old it is now. Footman. Oh, yeah, it looks nice enough. Doesn't look bad at all. But it's also going for that very heavy fantasy-like look. Oh, yeah. They, they still do that. Your, your, your hero may visit special buildings where he can replenish. Okay. Uh, to recruit troops, Perfect. you may select the desired numbers if you have enough money to afford them by using the plus and minus. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Left click. Yeah, it's already trying to buy all of them. Oh, okay. Right click was it? Uh, oh yeah. wait. No. No, I see. The, the, there's money and there's a face uh, icon that over the device under the coin purse. Yeah, 
here, you mean? The, no, no, no. Up, up, nope. up. The, oh, creature there info. There we go. Now we have info. Okay. Attack for an uh, HP 16. So each unit has 16 health. Yeah. So if a stack, if we had a stack of 10, then the entire stack would have a health would have health of well 160. Though that would, of course. <clears throat> Uh, so it would also have 40 attack, but as uh, when it takes it, when it loses hit points, it would also lose units and thus lose the other stacks. I have the stats, I've, I believe that's why you'd, you'd say it. Yeah, this means like if you have enough of one unit, you could take on a stronger unit as field troops, yeah. but, the, but you still have the risk of you have like a like five stacks, of, like a group of five dragons. They can still wreck, like, uh, 50 percent, uh, like it was nothing. Yeah. So, uh, let's... be careful. Yeah. Units also have abilities, like living creature. This creature is alive, so it can be resurrected. Enraged. This creature's offense property increases during combat when any friendly unit dies, except resurrected creatures or creatures summoned by battle to battlefield by magic. A large shield. Receives only 50% damage from all non-magical shooting attacks. Uh, at every attack, creature has a chance to stun the enemy so they won't be able to retaliate and lose initiative. Mechanical creatures are not affected. Okay. Uh, let me actually go by. Uh, there we go. Just buy all of them. Costs, of course, but we have enough gold at the moment. Okay, some more peasants to join. Yes. They'll Gee. make for good cannon fodder at the very least. Uh, some resources here. Oh yeah, normally this game would be played against uh, against CPUs. But we are in the tutorial at the moment. How did I miss that? Yeah, uh, hmm. I, I could see you stream this, but... Again, we will have to investigate how long these can get. Yeah, so and this I... type of game can get really long. Yeah. And, um... So it's a case of it might be work, work better for YouTube than on stream. Yeah. Ooh. Get off our fields! We don't want you here! What do you mean by this disobedience? They say the war goes badly, milady. We hear that the demons are killing everything and eating the dead. We don't want to go. Cowards! The Griffin Empire shall emerge victorious! Well then, they can do it without us. We're staying here. Now get off our land! You will fulfill your oaths to your lord, even if you must do it in chains. Take them! <laughs> Okay, first combat, tactics mode. During combat, the units of your hero's army and the army of his adversary become uh, active in turns depending on their initiative value. Now it is a hero's turn. By default, the hero can attack any enemy creature on the battlefield. Okay, initiative bar over here shows the order in which the units will be able to act. Unit of creatures at the left of the... Yeah, currently active. That's this one. To move our left click. Okay. And they can move like that. We can see how they can move. So let's move one shorter. Assuming that they can attack one reach further. Uh, okay. And then our knights up to here. And Isabella herself can just run up and slash him. <laughs> Okay, they lost two units there. And they have yeah. 11 total. Yet. And if we attack with the footman, that'll kill the rest of them. With no retaliation attack. And there we go. Now they can serve their empire as fertilizer. Combat results. Experience. We destroyed 13 of them. And done. Let's see. Marco, it usually takes 55 hours to beat this game. Okay, yeah. 
that were definitely limited to a, a YouTube uh, series, I'd say. Yeah. It's, it's more peasants here. Do we fight or do we re recruit? Okay, 11. And that's enough for now. Okay, next week. But now this one will have reset. So we, if we could run back there, we could recruit more probably. But for now, let's just get more people here. And move on. Oh dear. Yeah, this game is good. The story, as I recall, is good as well, especially world building. Just again, the cutscenes and dialogue a bit on the rough side. There's a big ass fairy there. Let's have a oh. look over here. Oh, that is not a fighter unit. That's a object of interest. When the hero army is much stronger than the creatures being attacked, these creatures can try to run away from combat. You can let them go, or fight them in order to earn more experience for the hero. Okay. Uh, let's go kill him. It's a peasant rebellion, so let's put out the peasants out of the rebellion. A tactic space oh during which you can deploy the hero's troops to their designed starting positions to place the troop... Okay. Basically, this game is a sort of like a, yeah, Total War, but turn-based. Yeah, a more we board game. Them. Okay, they split up into three stacks. I, I suppose as it is, Heroes of the Market started as a dungeon crawler game, where you start from first person, and Hero of the Magic itself was a spin-off that became more popular than the main game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's always funny how things can turn out like that, huh? And yeah, the most po the one that that really exploded popularity was Heroes of Might and Magic Three. Fourth, uh, they had I don't know what happened. They had so many ideas they tried to throw them all at once, and it became a bit confused mess. Okay. Then I they... think I saw Setsuan make a video about that. I think. Uh, probably, I probably have to check that at some point. But yeah, later, 3 do and such merged or sold their IP to Ubisoft, hence Dark Messiah. Not even a single they, kill there. But yeah, since so Ubisoft bought them out, and they made, then they, they thought, all right, instead of continue this world and story, we make an entirely new one, hence Dark Messiah. Which will lead up to this. Okay. We've got an armored peasant here. Uh, that's good. It's but from what I know from that place, I feel like they took everything in every good idea from the fourth game and brought it over and polished it. And removed the bad parts from the fourth game. Okay. Uh, let's move you over there. Uh, yeah, I, I I heard that number three is still considered to be the best of this franchise. It's kind of how many got into the game. And for when the third game came about, it was basically around when more and more people started to buy PC games and such. And that one basically was the one that made many get into the, the PC gaming. But that okay, you can't even kill a, f <laughs> a few peasants, really. Okay. It's I like that one. the sword changes direction from which you, sides you will attack. These are conscripts, not peasants. Yeah, I kind of like that. For in, in the third game, they, they did something I was impressed by, but also find it kind of stupid. Like, in the third game, if you were to turn around and attack someone, you see them turn around and switch shield and sword to other hand. Then attack. Okay. Which, okay, impressive you both to do, do an animation for that. But still, why not just do an animation where you don't do that and just have the sheet on the other side? Not flip. Uh, <laughs> you hear the issue that it's, it's kind of dumb when you think about it. Yeah. Like, if you just... can't do that, why not just do the 
more logical one. Okay, plus one luck, which is our crit stat, our critical chance stat. Okay. Oh yeah, it's this is a slower game, as is very odd. Is there an option somewhere to speed things up, maybe? Uh, quick combat, show grids, move, map scroll, uh, tooltip delay, player move. Yeah, that's let's go zoomy. <laughs> Okay, Hall of Heroes is that way, White Lake is that way, Pain what comes this way. But you can add you to what, well, Heroes 3 was pixel game still. At the once pixel game, but still pixel game. It's, and uh, the Bloodhead, you should see Heroes 3's 3D cutscenes. Very, oh, it's the 90s style rough. Very clay like, I'm presuming then. Rather stiff. Yeah. And they really give in to the 80s feel. Like, I think the queen of that third game is basically running around in a uh, mix of plate and chain, stocking and corsets. Okay. And a quick battle. Okay, I. I... I didn't actually know or I didn't remember that uh, your hero can actually attack as well. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought they needed to use special spells for that. Yeah, you, in the third game they couldn't, only spells. It was in fourth game they started to do that, and the heroes could walk around on the battlefield like a unit. You, you could actually make a squad of only heroes uh, on the fourth game. Okay. And here they took it back down, but it did allow you to attack with your hero regularly again, uh, still. What are these? Plague zombies. Okay. Uh, we can only. Let's even the odds. Also, just phasing through the materials. Uh, oh. I thought it was the footprint. What yeah. was that? Oh. Okay. I think it was a uh, high morale. Okay. Good morale. It is good morale. Okay. Which means better crit chance, but they also may good moral if it also may result in double attack. Okay. Um take out those. You take out those from there. And I think the knight should be able to deal with these last few. Actually run up and <laughs> chip this one down and there we go killed before it even gets to try again okay the, the game is running rather slow-ish compared to most of our stuff but the the underlying stuff is looking pretty good Let's see. When fighting and traveling, your you know, heroes, you know, your hero gains experience points and ultimately advances to the next level. This is the moment where you can select one of the proposed skills or abilities. And it's a timer going off, but I'll pause that for a second. Let's see. Level two knights. She just gains plus one attack right out, and then we can choose. Okay, increase the luck of all creatures in hero's army. Okay, and that leads to those uh, as other. Okay, those skill trees. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's also Benediction, which, let's see, receives special combat ability to temporarily raise the morale, initiative, attack, and defense. Of okay, that is very good. Expert leadership, increase morale by three. Okay. And recruitment, increases weekly growth of on yeah, a first, second, and third level creatures by plus you know, three, plus two, and plus one, respectively. Hero must be stationed within the friendly town. Let's go with this one. Not that we'll continue much from this. Uh, at any time, you may study your hero in detail, check his abilities, and see his army. In this case, her. Uh, the hero window can be invoked by double-clicking. Okay. There we go. Study in detail. 
Uh, yeah, let's see. Attack, defense, spell power. I think that all speaks for itself. Knowledge, what is that? Determines the pool. Okay, that's mana and mana regeneration. Morale. Uh, affects the order taken by the creature. Uh, creatures in the hero's army. Okay. So, okay, that's initiative up. Luck is well. But wait, wasn't that plus one before or was that temporary? Uh, it was and, a, I think uh, it was temporary for one battle. Okay, and we have war machines. <laughs> We're just lugging around catapults out at the Summer Palace. Yeah, they're, they're okay. only used for sieges, though. Uh, let's see. Inventory, skills, uh, specialization, and racial. Uh, what is this? Sur Sur Suzerain contributes 250 gold pieces in Kingdom Treasury per day. Okay. Uh, oh, and biography. Yeah, this is this is all real deep stuff that goes. Uh, Ooh, but yeah. we'll have to leave it at that. And that's actually it. And it's actually the first showcase Sunday where we have just needed only four games to showcase. That's been a bit. I think we see its first one in a while. Yeah. Uh, at least in a few months, at least. Are you sure it's okay. the first one this year? But definitely been a while. Give me a second. Well, that is no easily first one in a month for so far. Uh, let me take this out and do a. I, I probably should have done this ages ago, but chat tends to be uh, quiet, so I forgot it. So just paste a reference there. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, been a. Let's uh, let's not forget to go back over the games that we've showcased. So let's see, Hard West. Oh, I'm leaning towards a good yes with that. Same, like just in, we, we now know it's about thirteen hours, and that's doable. Yeah, do plenty it's, doable. Especially if you do it as a main quest, or mm -hmm. side quest will also work. Yeah, we'll have to see where we would put it. Uh, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. Thoughts on that? I'm skeptical. I, I, there is concern with that one. Yeah. Uh, I'd say we could look up how long... Actually, I can look it up right now, since the browser is open on the background. Like, Let's how, how long it is <laughs> and the whole technical issues in my hand. Uh, okay, I I'm going to change the screen share a bit ahead of time with this, because... Uh, Guess who, which game they used for the background for now. <laughs> or and uh, the Wisps. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me do a search. Uh, the first I'll time play. I get to see this. Uh, yeah. Seven and a half hours. Okay. Uh, without too much failing, I presume. So that could definitely be doable. Yeah. Uh, there's a s second game coming out. Okay. Hmm. All right. Didn't actually but, know that. Yeah. We, we still we need. I would say still need to do some investigation. There are still the whole mechanics of. Yeah, we don't know how punching it is on failing. True. I I don't expect it would just immediately kick us back to the start if we fail like two times or so, but I, hmm, we'd have to. Yeah. yeah we'd definitely have to definitely have to test things out a bit. Okay. Yeah, and also see, like, they said, once it reached her head, it's game over. So we need to investigate, like, okay, are these damages per death permanent? Can we get away? I, I think, think they, they are going to... to be remaining until un until you start a new game. Yeah, so I was thinking that they probably would have done something against saves coming. Hmm. I don't expect it would be too difficult, but I, I'd still say a, a yes for now. I <clears throat> say hesitant, maybe. Again, more research should be done first. Yeah, like how many times we can fail before we need to restart. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Hero Seeds? Uh, no for like there is no real main story with it so not a main quest not a side quest but maybe something to pick up sometime for just multiplayer mayhem yeah Actually, it's I, not a I bad game uh go ahead first 
it's not a bad game, just not fit for our regular streaming style. Yeah. And I, I just realized we could probably you know, name just random multiplayer streams that we do, just multiplayer ma mayhem. <laughs> not too original, but it fits. And then Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Uh, the length has me saying no. <laughs> yeah, like, I want to say yes, but the length is say, telling me no. It, it could work maybe for YouTube. Since they'll be just cut out, yeah, the unnecessary bit, and just save the story bit and the battles and such, yeah. Um, but just for just like like, no, yeah, it would be much even for mainstream. Yeah, like I I do want to stream uh, Warcraft Three, the original, not that reforged bullshit. Uh, uh, good luck. Yeah, I do want to stream that at, uh, at some point. Probably need to make a jailbroken version of it since they basically killed it off in their launcher. Or not sure yeah, if they worked on that. I think it's even more that it's maybe incompatible with the modern systems to begin with. Could be. It is an old game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll try to. I'll try to find a way to eventually stream it, but we've already got enough on our to-do list. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, uh, let, let's go look for someone to raid then. We have Intro VT who is online with Osu. Um, can't say no. Let's see. Okay, they've reached one day one hundred of their subathon. Okay, uh, what is this? It Japanese characteristics or literally Japanese characters that are. Uh... Okay, I oh. Oh, now it's elite. It's the original, for, or it's similar to Elite Beat Agents. It's holy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I just realized that there is a game coming out called Purple Wars that is very inspired by Warcraft 3. Oh, what the heck happened there? Hmm? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. There is already a chat box here. I just. But it's a different source, so let me just. Uh, I don't know what's oh. going on. If I only see uh, someone playing game here. Okay, I did a dumb. I did a stupid there. I, I was. I meant to remove that chat, uh, that second chat one, but what I instead ended up doing wasn't deleting the entire fucking scene. So that was oh. stupid. Uh, is there a way to recover those? Uh, that's a filter. Okay, I'll, I'll have to recreate that one now. <laughs> that was a dumb move, yeah. Okay. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, though. Just copy over and resize things a bit. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely a fail. Anyways, then. Uh, yeah, continuing on. We have Black Shadow, who is streaming The Getaway. Okay, looks like 90s Zeros is shooter. Okay. Uh, PS2, so might be after... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah if it's PS2, then it's uh, after 2000 then. Okay. Uh, can't say you know either of those games. I'm Nice is online. She's been streaming quite a lot lately. She's playing Monster Hunter World again. Uh, Sour Walrus is playing Diablo 4. We have Rough Raccoon who is streaming Earth for Earth Defense Force 5. And let's see. Next up we have K9 who is also streaming Diablo 4. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is doing another psychology stream. Okay. Uh who to rate then? Hmm. Ruffy or nice? Uh, let's go with Ruffy. It's been a bit since we've rated them, I think. So, copy name, channel to our place, slash raid and paste. And uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, later today, we will have a second stream where we will be. Uh, yeah, we're 
Have you decided yet which to continue with, Transistor or Ori? Oh, right, I forgot about to make a little funny scene for that at all. Uh, I will say Transistor, for I am so damn curious. Okay, Transistor it will be then, if we can do a stream then, because it's likely we'll be having a barbecue tonight. <laughs> so that might go long, might not go, we'll have to see. <clears throat> oh, Koba. For now, though, of course, thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, let me start off the raid first, so I don't forget to do that. And yeah, I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to reassemble that scene. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this is your stupid Captain Hillian. Thank you all again for watching. Thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my captain. Yeah, and uh, thank you as all, uh, thank you as of course as well, Marco. Not trying to skip you over, and. Uh, yeah, see you all next time, whenever that might be. But until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Look at, watch out for plague zombies. And accidentally deleting your own scenes. That's you. <laughs> uh, come on.